Trains can be kind of germy at times, so what's being done to keep commuters on trains safe against coronavirus? As more cases pop up, including one right next door in New York, precautions are now in place. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live now in the Elm City, outside Union Station, with some new information for us. Matt? Well, Dennis, those using mass transit say they are aware of it, but it's not going to stop them from getting where they need to go. Meanwhile, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority says it's taking steps and it's asking riders to do the same. It's the busiest commuter line in the country, and with a confirmed case of coronavirus now in New York, those hopping on Metro North tell us it's on their mind. Always make sure I have like hand wipe cleaners because when you're anything you touch, you got to wa wash your hands. While the person in New York who came down with the virus didn't take public transportation, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority has already started taking precautions, including these signs deployed across thousands of digital screens. And some rail riders at New Haven's Union Station tell us it comes down to common sense. I think the best recommendation is exactly what you would do for the flu season anyway. Wash your hands. Don't be around people that are coughing in your face. And... Um, in general, kind of keep to yourself and wave at a distance. Well, not getting into details so as not to make people panic, the MTA says it has protocols in place for emergency scenarios, from a public health crisis to an extreme weather event, adding, we are regularly monitoring the circumstances surrounding the coronavirus with the utmost seriousness at the direction of federal and state health authorities. We're going to be instituting uh, new cleaning protocols in our schools on public transportation, etc. Where they will use a disinfectant, many will use uh, bleach, uh, which is a, a good protocol in the flu season anyway. And while New York's governor says they're taking steps, so too are travelers like Joan and Mike McGrath. I have started using tissues and paper towels when I touch doorknobs and when I go in and out of uh, the restroom in particular. And uh, I'm much more conscious of that now than I have been. And again, the MTA is asking riders to follow the CDC recommendations. Again, uh, wash your hands with soap and water, cover your cough and your sneeze, stay home if you're sick, and also remember to clean and disinfect those surfaces and items that are touched often. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Always good advice, Matt. Thank you. And keep it right here for continuing coverage of the coronavirus outbreak. Coming up at 530, mm -hmm. we'll take a look at which cleaning products work the best at killing the virus. Plus, local high schools are taking action to protect students. Which districts are now canceling class trips abroad? And the Channel 3 app is your source to stay up to date on the virus. We have a timeline on the coronavirus outbreak. You'll also find a map of all the cases, plus get breaking news alerts. We are tracking some breaking news out of Manchester right now, where at least one court martial is in critical condition after a suspect hit him with a car. The chaos unfolded at the courthouse. Penpoint News Tracker shows you where that is. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live there with some late breaking details for us. Matt? Yeah, Dennis, two court marshals were heard here today. They were hit by this car as the suspect was fleeing this courthouse here. And now multiple sources are telling us that at least one of those marshals is in very critical condition. Now, let's go to the person who police say allegedly did this. This is uh, Jose Antonio Lopez. This is a previous mugshot of the 42 year old. He was driving a white car, make and model still unknown. Now, this is how everything unfolded earlier today. State police tell us Lopez was here on a misdemeanor charge for a crime that happened at the Home Depot in Manchester right before Christmas. The bond, $250. He appeared on that charge today. State police say something happened in court, and whatever that something was, that triggered this extreme response with Lopez dashing out of the courthouse. The court marshals chased him, but Lopez made it into a car, and police say he then hit these two court marshals on his way out. We do know that he was driving a white vehicle with a white spoiler. The license plate is a possible Massachusetts plate, and there is possible front end damage to that vehicle. Now, we did go into Lopez's record, and we did find that there was an outstanding arrest warrant, and that was from a previous larceny charge. Now, police say he may be in the Hartford or Springfield area, but again, court documents are showing us that he does have ties to Willimantic and South Windsor as well. So again, Lopez currently on the run, and he is now wanted and facing much more serious charges than this misdemeanor. So if you have any information, you're urged to call state police. Now, coming up at 6, 
Olympics. We just finished an interview with someone who spoke with Lopez inside the courthouse seconds before he fled. What he had to say at six. But for now, that's the latest live here in Manchester. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.